Okay then, so the next thing we can do, now that's totally dry, okay, um, it might not look as flat, and to be honest it doesn't look that flat, uh, even to me, um, but what we're trying to do now is a quick, easy way, um, of what I think is going to be the most effective way of weathering this. Now obviously we're going to be using the uh, Pro Modeler's weathering wash, I've got the dark, and the black. Now I'm probably going to use the dark because obviously we're a very light aircraft, especially on the underside. Black would just overkill this, um, so we want to keep it quite sort of fresh. Um, and I, somewhat about it, it's got nice lines, nice markings. We just want to give it a little bit of depth, perhaps, rather than sort of really try and heavily weather this one up. So we're going to use the dark wash, good old shake. Then what we're going to do is pour it straight into the colour cup as is. Now the dark dirt, um, you can probably see down here, is more of a brown. The black is very much a black, so black is going to stand out extremely, extremely strong. So what we do, we're going to start on the actual one first. Well, let's put this back in its holder just a sec across you guys. Now here I never fixed the top and there was always a good reason for this. One, I can get the clear part out then and out of the way because we don't want that to get weathered and also I can underside the weather everything very easy without getting too stuck in and obviously we've got some finishing parts to go in there. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is just very very lightly okay spray the weathering wash straight over straight down everything. So we're just going to do four little passes just like that okay then we're going to do some down here across the top back over these tails because the thing is, as you can probably see, um, certainly on the close-up, you can see it starts to bead up straight away. That's because the surface is quite shiny. Uh, and what we want it to do is to sort of come over, give us quite a, a flat look. So we just spray that on just like that. Now down here onto the underside. And like if you've seen the other ones, what we do is let this build up in layers. So what we're going to do, we're going to carry on over here with the wings just put on a few little passes, let it dry, and then as we come back and put up some more, we can just keep increasing the, the amount we're putting on, okay, until we're happy. So we'll leave him like that as well, perhaps if we stick this one up on his edge. So I'm going to carry on building up these layers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait a few moments. You could use a hairdryer and cool setting to speed up the drying, but don't get too close because as soon as you start pushing the water around, it's going to go to all of the different areas and be quite artificial. We want it to sort of stick on and look quite natural. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on for a moment. Okay, so now it's got some on just to bite to. What we can do is flood in this colour. So what we're going to do is spray them down quite liberally. Okay, over everything, making sure we're in gears, up wells, into all those areas. So we've got lots of dirt, and as you can see, we can let it naturally run off. So if you see some little areas, we put the camera here on freehand, you can see there. We've got the weathering wash running off as it would on the real aircraft and that's the type of thing we're after is to try and get this sort of quite realistic effect of how grime runs down head south and it pulls in certain areas the big thing is with this you just leave it and let it to get on with it yourself you don't want to be coming around in here now sort of spraying around too heavily because what happens is as this is naturally coming down it's going to get lighter because more and more of this is going to run off and run to the bottom but if you start pushing it around it's going to pull up in really odd areas and perhaps areas where you don't really want it so what we're going to do is just leave it and if you've got some warm lights perhaps those around will speed up the drying time but certainly don't try and dry it with your airbrush or dry it with anything else let it sort of naturally just dry off remember if this goes wrong don't panic we'll just wipe it all away or wash it away and we can start again job done so we've already got it going on the other side over here um, as you can probably see it uh, is giving us a nice grimy effect without too much hassle very straightforward very very easy and then obviously you can just leave it if you want to add a little bit more feel free just squirt on a little bit more and away you go very very simple one thing is obviously on the bottom 
as you'll see here, it's going to be very, very messy just down here. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with that as a separate item afterwards. Okay, so there we go. That's going on quite nicely, but to be honest, it's a little bit too strong for what I'm looking for. So what we're going to do is just water it down a bit. So we've got in here just normal, plain, flat water. Flat water, just tap water even. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just literally rinse over the top. And what it'll do, it'll reactivate, you can probably see it here and it's streaking off, but it reactivates the wash and we'll take some of it off. And it will just make it smoothen it out a little bit. So if you do feel you've got a little bit too much on there and you want to keep your weathering looking nice, you can just do this and just re-wet it like we've done here and it will flow away. So just do a little bit more at the top here. And that's a great thing with this wash, you can literally as and when you like it, just literally drain some more off and it'll still add those nice weather effects as it's draining down, but keep it clean. Or you can literally use this like a pressure washer and wash it all away and just start again. So let's do the same on the other side. We're just coming along, re-wetting it anywhere that's particularly got too much. We'll just wash it and reactivate it and it'll all wash off and just rinse down. Okay, so we're really getting there now. So the wash has all been on and dried. Um, and by doing that effect that you've probably saw, I'll show you this one first, you can get this nice um, type of difference, uh, easiest way to show you, where you get sort of curtain effect. And what I'm trying to replicate is obviously fading and the sort of drawn down look. Um, you actually get it on the close up, you might get it in there. So what we do, we just literally dry brush over the top with a cloth, a little bit of moisture, and a good old wrap everywhere. And what that'll do is hopefully, oh, don't do that too many times. Um, as you can see, probably close that might be better, but you can actually see you get all the ribs in that stand out really, really nicely. Now, obviously, you could take this completely off um, or leave it on there, depending on how you do. Now, I've got a bit down the bottom here. So, what we're going to do is just quite wet, take that off because that's a little bit too much. And then, what we're going to do is just draw, rub it back and forth and sort of blend in with what we've got to give us a, a nice blended effect. And if you're too wet, cut to the dry bit of tissue and continue to wipe down. And there you go, you might be able to see it in that one, see it probably on that angle, the overall one there. You can see how we have this curtain effect, which is what I was trying to do. What you do, you basically spray it on, as I showed you just a minute ago on that short clip one, let it dry halfway, then rinse off, and that way you clean down the bottom, dirty on top. It honestly, it's a lot easier than it looks. It, uh, it, it's uh, one of those things you think, oh, that looks quite complicated to do, but honestly, it's not that bad. So, same thing for all around these areas here. Anyway, it's a little bit too heavy, and you can just give these a wipe over. Leading edges always seem to be quite clean. And then all we've got to do is just tidy up the insides of the actual bars. So, cotton bud gets in here. 